اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دیا سیدن تسلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ You are welcome back to our healing class. My name is Mrs. Rahmat Rahim. Inshallah, I'll be taking English studies for the JSS1 students. And the topic we are going to treat for today is structure. Where we'll be looking at conjunctions. The book we'll be using as a reference material on this topic is NOSEC. That is New Oxford Secondary English Course for the JSS1 students. This topic can be found on page 177. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to explain what conjunctions mean. And at the same time, students are expected to use conjunctions effectively in their daily sentences. In our previous lesson, we discussed increase your word power, where we looked at words that are associated with government and politics. There, the meaning of government was given. Politics was also divine, as well as some words like democracy, like manifesto, the legislature, the executive, the judiciary, the electorate, the nominee, and so on and so forth. All these were explained in details in our previous lesson. Now to the topic of today. Like I said, Hele, I said our topic for today is structure. Where we'll be looking at conjunctions. First and foremost, what do we mean by conjunctions? Conjunctions are words used to join or link up words, phrases, clauses, and sentences. The most commonly used conjunctions are and and but. That is the one the conjunctions that are mostly used, that are used often, more often, they are and and but. Let's look at the following examples. The man and the woman are on their way. As you can see on your screen, you can see that the and there is, is marked out to show you that we are using the conjunction and to join the man and the woman in the sentence. Also, we also have the spectators were seated but others were standing. We can see that we use this to show a kind of contrast between the spectators and others. That is, while some spectators were seated, some were standing. There are many words that are used as conjunctions, and they are used for different reasons in English language. For example, we have words like also, though, as well as, besides, in order to, because, therefore, either, or, until, as a result, as a result, although, to mention but few. We have a lot of words that are used as conjunctions. We use these conjunctions for so many reasons, like I've said. We use it within a sentence to join two phrases together, to join two clauses together, to join two words together. We also use it in uh, our daily write-ups, that is in our essay writings, in our compositions, where we use it as paragraph linkers to link one paragraph to another, to, to, to give a follow-up from one paragraph to another. Now let's look at these conjunctions. They are used in sentences according to the functions they serve, that is, the functions they perform in sentences. First, we have conjunctions that are used to show relationship or similarity between a particular word or a particular group of words and the other. 
Look at these examples. Dunlady and Idris went to the stadium. You can see that, that the relationship that is between Dunlady and Idris is that they went to the shop. We use that word and that conjunction and to link para to link to link Dunlady and in and uh, Idris together in the sentence. Also, look at this. My friend is not only clever, he is also very intelligent. Look at the relationship there between cleverness and intelligence. We use the conjunction not only there. And then also to bring about the relationship between cleverness and intelligence. Telling us that my friend possesses these two qualities. You can find these two qualities in one person. And that person is who? My friend. Also, look at this. The house is very beautiful. Besides, it is very spacious. Besides, there is a, con it's a conjunction that is used to show the relationship between beautiful and then spacious that is those two qualities that the house we are talking about the house in question possesses also we also use conjunctions to indicate a contrast between two things between different things that is the contrast the varieties the the the, 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 the area of a variety that we can see we want to point out in what we are talking about look at this sentence Although I am not very intelligent, I am not a dullard. Although I am not very intelligent, I am not a dullard. There we are looking at the contrast there. That the, 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 the contrast between being intelligent and being a dollar we can see that these two words are different words due to the opposite words entirely also look at this another example Ungazi is quite intelligent but she is lazy look at the contrast between the two Ungazi is, is a Ungazi as a person she is quite intelligent but she's not making use of it look at that bot there she has that quality but she's not using it she just abandoned the quality we are using both there to show the contrast between intelligence and laziness another example even though she arrived early yet she was not given look at that the person arrived early as speculated but despite that she was denied being given what she went there to do you can see the contrast there the two opposite words that are placed by side by side and using conjunctions to link them up we have although we also have yet conjunctions are also used to show a result of an action look at this example the students prepared very well consequently he passed with flying colors in the examination in the examination so as we can see there as a result of that student's well preparedness he was able to pass the exam excellently another one as a result of the bad weather the flight was cancelled you can see because the weather was not good so the flight has to be cancelled that is the reason given the reason now why something happened or the result of a particular action that took place earlier than the event that followed so we also have he failed to do his assignment so he was punished because he did not do the assignment that is the reason for his being punished that is what that example is telling us Apart from this, we also make use of um, conjunctions to indicate choices, that is, to choose between one thing or 
the other. Let's look at this example. Either Adamu or Bala will play the match. There we have two people. We have to choose out of Adamu or Bala. Anyone we choose to choose, anyone we decide to choose among the two of them is going to play the match for us. Also, we also have we also have another example there. Would you prefer either Adamu or Bala will play the match? We have to choose between the two. Also, we have another example. Would you prefer book or pen? You can see that we have either book or pen. You have to choose out of the two. We have another one. Now you have to note this. If you use either or between two nouns in a sentence, the verb that comes after it will be in a singular form. That is, you use is you are not going to use and as you have in the case of you are not going to use a as you have in the case of and look at the example i'm talking about so that you understand it better better either you or the boy is that's what i'm talking about is to be held responsible you can see that i didn't say are to be held responsible because either or that is we are going to take one out of the two so we are going to treat such a sentence as a singular as a sentence that is taking a singular subject therefore the verb that will go with it is going to be in a singular form and that's the reason why we have is let me repeat the sentence once again either you or the boy is to be held responsible I want you to mark that is there as used in that sentence now we also make use of uh, conjunctions to link two or more actions that happen simultaneously that is when one action was taking place another one was also taking place at that same, same time look at the example so that you can understand it better the woman was cooking in the kitchen while her husband was reading in the living room that is at the same time when that woman was in the kitchen cooking the husband was also in the living room reading either the newspaper a magazine whatever is just reading a particular book look at another one i was overjoyed when i had the good news you can see two things happened today i had a good news and at the same time that good news i had made me to be what to be overjoyed so i had a good news and i was happy now uh, we also make use of look at another one as as i was walking towards i was as i was walking towards him he zoomed off the car two actions happened there i was walking and another person was what zooming off that is driving away his car two actions happened at the same time there we also make use of conjunctions to give reasons for an action that is the reason why a particular action was taken we use conjunctions to give such reasons look at this example the students came late because it rained you can see the reason why the students came late there was as a result of the downpour that is the rain maybe the rain was heavy and they could not walk under the rain so they had to wait for the rain to stop so before they can now embark on the journey thereby making them to arrive at the venue late so you can see the reason for the lateness of the students as far as that sentence is concerned look at another one I will surprise you with a gift since you have performed very well in your examination. Look at that. The students have has performed very well. And as a result of that, I am also going to surprise him or her with a very good gift. And this illustrates the saying that says, 
one good turn deserves another because he has done a good thing i'm going to reward him with also a good thing students you are hereby enjoined to read more on this topic on page 177 of your notes so that you can get more examples and more explanations so that you can ex you can understand what we have been discussing so far better we have come to the end of the lesson and now to the summary aspect to summarize what we have been saying so far we discussed conjunctions where we look at conjunctions we described conjunctions as words that are used to join or link up words, phrases, clauses, and sentences. And I said the commonly used conjunctions are and, and, but. I gave a lot of examples, <clears throat> and I also, I also said there are different types of uh, conjunctions. As you can see on your screens, we have a lot of words that are used as conjunctions. And I illustrated how some of these can be used in sentences according to the functions they perform in such sentences. I said we use conjunctions to show relationship or similarities. I also said we use conjunctions to indicate contrast. Conjunctions are also used to show results of actions. We also use con conjunctions to indicate choices. We use conjunctions. We use conjunctions to link two or more actions that happen at the same time. That is, that happen simultaneously. We use conjunction to give reasons for actions, and we have a lot of examples on this, as you can see on your screen as you can see on your screen i believe you have gained from what we have said so far and if that is the case attempt this question i'm going to roll out one divine conjunction and two mention three types of conjunctions now for the assignment on this topic students you are to attempt the exercise on page 178 of your NOSEC book 1. For you to have access to this assignment, you are to visit the CTY e-learning portals as your assignment shall be marked accordingly. We have come to the end of this lesson. May Allah put Barakah in what we have learned so far. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye for now.